Are you feeling overwhelmed, no motivation, no energy? You don't know what you're supposed to be doing or where you need to be. Well, I'll tell you where you need to be. You need to be right here because we are doing a three-day reset of your life. It's your time to shine. This is day three of three, so let's dive in. Diane and Emmerich here. Ra, ra, ra. I am a routines coach and this year I'm helping you to simplify and thrive. And this week we are doing a three-day challenge we are getting organized, we're getting back on track, we're shaking things up a little bit and we're working on our daily routines, morning routine, evening routine. And if you don't know my story, I went from being super overwhelmed with things, chaotic, living in chaos to fast forward to today where things are not perfect, but things are so much better and I really enjoy every day. So that's what I want for you, and if I can do it, you can do it too. Quick recap of what we did on day one and day two of this challenge, and then I'll give you your homework for today, for day three. So on day one, we identified three things, not, not a list of 20, three things are essentials that really make a difference to our day. Three things that once you've got those things done, the rest follows. And on day two, I asked you to, before you, you got into your routine, see how you're feeling and see how you're felt afterwards. And I hope you read the comments yesterday. They were brilliant because it's just that kind of mind over matter that we don't want to do it, but we feel so much better when it's done. Remember here, never compare your essentials to somebody else. We are all in very different situations. Maybe you are the CEO of a company. Maybe you are re recently retired. You're teleworking. Maybe you have got three small kids. Our essentials will, will look very different. And if you want help with regards to what to put on your list, whether you're working outside the home, whether you are at home, whether you need a morning and evening routine, or maybe you need to ditch that and go for a daily routine, I've got lots of examples of that in my Fly Lady Refresher course series. I'll put a link up there and link down below. And there I use case studies from my coaching clients because quite often it's the, the, the strangest things that we need to have on our, on our routines lists. And I'll just give you a little story here from one of my coaching clients who was a carer, 24 hour job, and she realized in the end, the most important thing on, on her morning routine was to go out into, she sat in the greenhouse in the morning for 10 minutes, just sat there with her thoughts, getting focused, and, and it can be as simple as that. So I really want you to ditch that idea of everything that you see on Pinterest or other YouTube channels saying, you get up at five o'clock, you're drinking the lemon water and doing yoga in the canyon it's going to look very different for each of us. But having the routine is what matters. And as I told you yesterday, I've been doing my routines for years, but even I've felt that little shift the last couple of days. And remember to adjust these routines as you go through different phases of life. My morning routine looks very different to how it was when the kids were small, when the kids were getting bigger, now we are empty nesters. So don't be afraid to adjust things. The routines are there to support you. It's not something that is absolutely set in stone. As I said, this is our final day. I've got some homework for you. Uh, but as usual, if you're enjoying my videos, I hope you will check out more of them. I don't do any sponsored content. As you've probably noticed, there are no annoying ads popping up in the middle of my videos. The best way that you can support me would be to subscribe, like the video, and share my videos, if you would, with uh, a decluttering group, organizing your house group, Huga group. That, that would really help me. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers this year. That, that would, that's my little personal goal. Anyway, on with the homework. Can you guess what it's going to be? Okay, so we've been working on being consistent with our routines. We've identified what actually helps us to move forward in our day. And what, what is the missing ingredient? <laughs> well, what is going to be that thing that's going to make it more pleasant for you to go through your routines? Any guesses? Hands up, hands up. Okay, here it comes. Here we go again. We're going to be adding a little bit of hygge, a little bit of Danish uh, coziness, giving yourself a little hug 
when you're doing your routines. Now that can look very different for, for each of us. I'll give you a few ideas. When I'm getting dressed in the morning and my, and my dressing table on the top of the chest of drawers, I've got a candle, I've usually got a fresh bloom or something from the garden and it just makes me smile when I see it. Same goes for my kitchen sink when I'm doing my evening routine. I close down the kitchen and by my sink I've always got a candle, flower and I like to put out a fresh uh, hand towel and a fresh tea towel, tea towels for drying the dishes. And usually in the tea towels, these have been things that I've picked up when I'm on holiday, I'm on vacation. Make a great uh, clutter-free souvenir. When I'm hanging up the laundry outside, hoping to do that tomorrow, the, the weather is getting better here in Copenhagen. When I hang up my laundry, I've got these really cute clothes pegs with wee birdies on them that I got from friends. Now, don't ask me where they got these. And I've had these for about, I don't know, 15, 15 years. Uh, still going strong, but it just makes me smile when I'm, I'm hanging up the laundry and I can see the sheets blowing in the wind. Put together some good tunes that you can be listening to on cordless headphones. I, I do that all the time. I've got a, a cleaning list and I've got a getting ready list. Maybe you can listen to an audiobook. Watch one of my videos as you go around and do your routines. Okay, let me know what it is because as I said, we've all got different ideas what that might be. And I shall see you next week where we'll kind of get back onto our usual thing of uh, decluttering and cozy planning. And a wee fun fact for you here because it is um, Easter schools week in Denmark. Schools are off this week. Fun fact for you, Denmark basically closes over Easter church and state are linked in Denmark. So our stores, schools, uh, all government uh, offices, they are closed. Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, Easter Sunday, Easter Monday. Every, everything is closed. There'll be a few food stores open, but everything else like department stores, they are closed Thursday, Friday, Sunday, Monday. And today, Wednesday, that this is actually the biggest food shopping day of the year in Denmark, even, even beats Christmas. So if, you, if you're running out to get food today in Denmark, go get it now. And for those of you who are doing the dressing your truth system for your caps, your wardrobe, like I have been using since 2018, I shall see those of you if you are in the lifestyle group. I'm doing a one hour live session with Carol, with Carol Tuttle next week. And I'm really look forward, looking forward to that. We will be decluttering our wardrobes, our closets, the DYT with Diane in Denmark way. It's going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, I'm going to get packed up. Looking forward to spending some time with my kids and family over Easter. And as always, I shall be doing my routines every single day because you know what? In the end, it just makes me feel lighter and life is so much better with routines. And I also need to get off and running because I'm looking forward to getting my hair cut today. I'm feeling like uh, Shaggy from, from Scooby-Doo. Not, not, not uh, shorter length, but just all, all this. And it's taking too much kind of scaffolding to, to hold me up at the moment. Let me know how you're going to have some hooger to your routines. And all I've got left to say is, I hope you are enjoying your time to shine. I shall see you next week. Live long and prosper. May the time to shine hooger be with you. And I'll see you very soon with a rap, rap, rap. Okay, bye for now.